Right, Martha, you need to tell us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're the boss. But only the other way around. Yeah, I like the sound of that one. Uh, I agree with them. <laughs> that's the first thing. Uh, uh, yeah, do you just want to tell us a little bit about the event and what a what a busy week it's been? Yeah, sure. So, obviously, this is day two uh, of we've got the MCG on Wednesday night. Tonight, we've got the game at Marvel against the uh, A League All Stars. Um, so, we've got everyone congregating now at uh, four different pubs acro across Dockland, so close to Marvel. Um, we're here at, at uh, Boat Builders Yard, and uh, yeah, the crowd's starting to build up now, so it's just been great. So, we had a great Wednesday, and uh, we've got to hope to have just as good a Friday. Yeah, and you guys met two of the players the other day as well. They came to help you. Yeah, so when we did the banners at the MCG, um, it was a bit of a surprise. We had Dummett and Richie come down, which is fantastic for someone like myself who's never been to Newcastle and watched them live. Um, to be able to go and see, uh, meet these players and have a great chat and just you know take a couple of minutes out of their time was fantastic. So yeah, we really appreciated it. Has it been a bit of an emotional week as well <laughs> with everything that's gone on? Yeah, absolutely. For me, it's, it's been huge. So like I said, I've never seen the club live and I've, I've, I'm one of the guys that runs the Aussie Mags group. So I've been doing that for about 12 years now, uh, give or take. And I've been supporting Newcastle since 2004, 2005. So, yeah. um, you know, to see them live and, and you know, just the whole experience of the week has been absolutely massive. It's been a lot of work, yeah. but it's been sensational and everyone's had such a great time. So it's, I think it's probably, um, if anything, it's actually probably proved a lot of people wrong where they didn't think the supporter base was here in Australia. Yeah. It's probably shown that it is. Yeah. Um, obviously, we can build on it as a club and that's what we're wanting, but there's already a supporter base here and it's not just expat Geordies, it's also Australians as well like myself. So it's yeah. been really good to see and just kind of show the world that there's a good supporter base in Newcastle here in Australia. Yeah, and that is huge because you've obviously got some other massive sports here, the AFL, the cricket. Yeah. But it's got a Premier League football's got a big place here as well. Absolutely, yeah. And look, it, it, obviously, it's going to be controlled by the big four clubs, um, you know, and they've got the biggest supporter bases, but they're probably also the supporter bases that are quite um, temperamental. You know, people kind of come and go of being supporters. When, with Newcastle fans here, they're not. They're, they're, they're guys that, and you know, and women and kids that. It's you know it, it's they're drawn into it and they don't leave. It's not it's not a kind of a throwaway line to be a Newcastle supporter here in Australia. If you're one of those supporters, it's yeah. one of those clubs that you're in it for the long haul and you're definitely passionate about it. So yeah, it's great. And it just feels like today around here, it feels like almost being in the big market or being in the Keyside of Newcastle. It's, it's like a slice of Newcastle in in Melbourne. So I've heard. So yeah, obviously, like I said, I haven't been, but uh, a lot of people kept on saying it feels like almost like a bit like being at at, at Shearer's beforehand or being at a away day I've heard as well so I've heard nothing but positive experiences and that's what we want for the week is everyone just to have a great time and, and build you know memories as well for, for the sales for years to come so it's been great. Brilliant thanks for your time. No worries. So a couple of hours before the kickoff here at the Marvel Stadium where Newcastle are going to be playing the Australian A-League All-Stars and yeah, it's it's a game that you know has been scrutinised. We all know that, but I think when some of the players actually get here, who might not be playing, they'll probably wish they did because it's a really nice venue, looks like a really good pitch, and I think even after that long hard season, they might want to be involved uh, today. So it's a great opportunity for whoever gets picked. Eddie Howe's team probably won't need any motivation here. They're going to be up against a select 11 from the A-League and they're all going to be looking to make a name for themselves too. So it's going to be interesting. We'll see how it unfolds.
it ended 8-0 here for Newcastle United tonight and it was a disappointing way to sign off for post-season but that's pretty much where Newcastle were. They couldn't really play a really strong team tonight for obvious reasons because the players had given everything they had the other night. It was always going to be a young team and they just weren't uh, able to, to live with the uh, All-Stars and there will be a bit of harsh criticism about it I suppose uh, from, from some people but I think ultimately it was a night where everything went wrong as well uh, for the 11 that was playing um, they didn't get going in the game there were mistakes there was a penalty appeal turned down it was a tough night it'll be a tough learning curve but Newcastle can at least enjoy the support they've had from the supporters over here and move on to pre-season now the final whistle has been sounded on Newcastle United's post-season tour of Australia and it didn't go to plan. Losing to the All-Stars, 8-0, didn't go well. Uh, nothing went right for Newcastle on the night. They got no luck really in, in front of goal either. And yeah, had it not been for Mark Gillespie, it could have been an even bigger scoreline. That's the sad reality of it. But I think really we spoke to Eddie Howe after the game and said, you know, why didn't more senior players play? Which is what a lot of people have asked. Um, and he said that he basically had, had picked the, the strong team the other night and they'd given everything that they had. And they have had a long, hard season. There's no escape in that. So to lose in the way they did uh, was definitely not a result that Eddie Howe would have enjoyed. Uh, we asked about Paul Dummett and Matt Ritchie, why they didn't play. And he basically said because they're out of contract and ultimately... He didn't want to risk them getting injured and potentially, you know, blowing a chance of a move somewhere else. The, the strange situation with that is, is that, you know, they could still end up at the club if Newcastle get into Europe. So it's all about revenue. It's all about numbers. It's all about finances. And uh, today it just was an unfortunate way to, to end what's been a relatively positive season. But look, Newcastle will move on from here. I'm sure it's going to be a very busy summer ahead. Uh, they'll be in Japan for pre-season. It's going to be very interesting, just as interesting as this trip has been. Uh, but ultimately, I think what we've seen on this trip is the brilliance of the supporters. We've seen that across the week, and it's uh, it's been a massive, massive plus for the fans who had the chance to liaise with you know the players, the staff, the officials. It's been a big positive on that part. So let's not uh, be too downhearted. It was a disappointing defeat tonight, but at the end of the day. Newcastle can now enjoy their summer break.